Now to our news for Jack's I-Team update. Jacksonville is inching closer to another attempt at crime prevention. Mayor Lenny Curry says cure violence, which uses former convicts to reach out to those at risk for being involved in violent crimes, will be in place by this summer. In February, News for Jacks was the first to show you how the approach works when we visited a cure violence office in Philadelphia. News for Jacks I-Team investigator Vic Michelucci spoke with the mayor and sheriff today about the progress. He's joining us live from Hogan's Creek. Vic? And Tark, this is the 32209 zip code. It is one of the most violent and crime plagued communities in the Jacksonville city. And this is also a spot where it's likely to see that the team members from Cure Violence will begin their work in making the streets safer. The lights, the crime tape, the devastation, all things neighbors dread as city leaders say they are pushing for an end to violence. We started out this year with a, with a spike and then we have had a little bit of a lull. Sheriff Mike Williams is optimistic the program Cure Violence will help cut down on the crime. It is a proven approach that uses former criminals with street credibility to reach out to those who are at risk of committing crimes as well as people who are likely to be victims. You may want to come out here and see what it's like out in the hood. You know I mean? News for Jax visited team members in Philadelphia who explained to us they build rapport and warn of the consequences of violence. Expect them to be here this summer and to be able to have the resources they need to do the work they need to do. Mayor Lenny Curry, Sheriff Mike Williams, and State Attorney Melissa Nelson all agreed on bringing it to the most dangerous neighborhoods in Jacksonville, the city finding the funding. So I will absolutely make sure that my budget is prioritized to get them in and doing their work. The leaders already applauding their investments in a bullet database, a gunshot alert system, and a unified crime center. We've got lots of cases where knives used, separate cases where shot spotters used. There are challenges to cure violence coming from the state's passing of Marcy's Law, which keeps information about crime victims confidential unless their families choose to release it. Some are worried that could get in the way of the work that the cure violence team hopes to do. You know, we're going to have conversations this week about, um, you know, how do we apply it here, uh, still being able to get information out to the public. The managers of Cure Violence are based in Chicago, and right now they are formulating a plan, submitting it to the mayor, to the sheriff, and other city leaders. That will have more details about exactly how they're going to attack this problem of violence, where they're going to start their office, and how much it'll cost. I have requested that document. As soon as I get it, I'll pass it along to you. We're live in Hogan's Creek. I'm Vic Michelucci, Channel 4, The Local Station.